Shalom, 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 Shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. Uh, you know, basically going to go into, um, I guess, what's going on in the world right now. Uh, I guess you said call it a news and prophecy. And um, going into the CBDCs. All right. And I got a video clip here, you know, kind of going to go into it. But, you know, for all those, you know, who believe um that this current world isn't changing the ones who still believe in in this society the ones who still believe in that this place is still going to go on all right those are the ones that are truly blinded all right and if you're listening to this and you are out there you believing that this world is going to keep going on all right the message to you is you're going to fall right along with America. You're going to fall right along with everything that this place uh, has to offer. All right. If you, you don't matter which part of the world you're in, you're all going to fall. All right. Because here it is. The Lord. All right. He has a spirit upon these elites and, and, and these elites. All right. I'm pushing. All right. The will of the Heavenly Father. OK, you see all this talk about the CBDC. All right. These different banks. All right. You have the um, uh, these these things coming into play. All right. So these things are not playing. All right. This is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is his will. All right. Because he's going to fulfill his word and what he said was going to happen. OK, let's get that right quick. And um. Isaiah. Okay. It's the book of Isaiah <clears throat> 55. We can start at verse 6 and we're going to jump down to verse 11. It says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Right now, this is the time for you to be calling upon Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Speaking to you so called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. All right. Because this is the time to seek him. All right, like the scripture says in the book of Sirach, I believe it's five and seven. All right, it says, make no tearing to turn unto the Lord. All right, do not put off from day to day. All right, unless suddenly the wrath of the Lord come upon you. All right, so this is detrimental to the things that we're seeing, all right, in the earth right now, because it's all leading up unto the prophecy of Revelation 13. Okay. All these uh, other Israelite groups that's setting up, um, you know, puppet people, leaders, all right, and telling them to, you know, say that the, you know, the, um, how can I say it? Not to get the video cut. It's saying that, you know, the the prophecy, all right, is something else. It's meaning something else other than what it truly is. Going into the RFID chip, all right. Many, um. Uh, other false prophets have been ar ar arisen, okay, and they're leading many people astray. All right, so this is why you see so many different videos of brothers that's been going out, all right, because the Lord has a spirit on his men, all right, to keep giving you the warning, all right. But when the time comes when Esau really shut this place down, it's going to be too late, man, because it's just going to be all nothing but chaos at that time, man. All right, so it's the time for you to seek the Lord while he may be found. All right, call upon him while he is near. But jumping down to verse 11, <clears throat> Isaiah 55 and 11, <clears throat> it says, So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. All right, so how is the Lord speaking? All right, he's speaking through the prophecies. I mean, it's a lot through the prophets. All right, and the prophets, all right, are speaking the prophecies of what Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, has told them. Okay, so when you see the spirit of all right, that's on a brother, and he's speaking, all right, it's, it's that brother, he's, his mouth is moving, but it's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai speaking and flowing through him, okay? 
So it says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. All right. So the things of what the prophets are speaking. All right. These things are not going to come back void. It says, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where to I sent it. All right. So the heavenly father has a spirit upon his men in these last days. All right. Unto the prophets. All right. And they're prophesying. All right. Telling you these things before these things happen. And now the vision is getting more clear and clear, more closer and closer to where these things are not going to lie anymore. All right. These things are not going to tarry anymore. You can see that these things are speeding up more and more. All right. We can just bring it out again. I brought it out in my other lesson the other day. All right. Habakkuk 2 and 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right? It's not going to be tearing anymore. It's not lying. These things are coming to pass, all right, as we speak. All right? Even these other Edomites, they even see what's going on. All right? And they know that there is going to be a, a, a collapse, all right, of the dollar, all right, to uh, usher in this CBDC. All right? And then eventually it's going to co- uh, exists all right and be uh, uh all this information gonna go into this uh into the karagma okay the c hip all right so let me play this um quick video right quick okay and it reads let me just read it right quick this is last this is at the beginning of the year january 7th it says here are some clips from expert Rebecca Walser on the current situation with CBDC and banks. It says all this is staged, is, is stage setting we expect it to see in 2023. Stage setting, CBDC Fed now 2023 and potential bank failure. Okay. So let's go ahead and play the video right quick. Changes are taking place in the global monetary system. That rapid changes are taking place in the global monetary system that may affect the international role of the dollar in the future. Most major economies already have or are in the process of developing instant 24-7 payments. Our own FedNow service will be coming online in 2023. And in light of the tremendous growth in crypto assets and stable coins, we are examining whether a U.S. central bank digital currency would improve upon what is an already safe and efficient domestic payment system. Our, as our white paper on this topic notes, a U.S. CBDC could also potentially help maintain the dollar's international standing. You cannot do uh, digital currency without trusted digital verification. So that, therefore, everyone will have to get a digital ID. It will be really interesting to see how people play this when they've said... Right. And everyone will have to be uh, somewhat connected, all right, in order for the CBDCs to be, uh, to come into play, all right, you're going to have to have uh, something digital, all right, for your information, all right, in order for you to be able to receive the CBDCs, all right, it, it just doesn't make sense, all right, this is why you've been seeing the, I believe it was uh, My ID 2020 uh, back then, I think they started that push back in, I believe it was before 2020, then I start seeing a rollout in 2019, I believe. Um, yeah, um, we go to different, uh, even in my, my daughter's elementary school, they're even pushing, all right, the thing for an, an, a digital ID, all right, just in case someone try to kidnap her or um, or she gets lost, all right, it's gonna, already going to have her digital ID, her name, her date of birth. All right, all her other different credentials. Uh, say some something happens to her at school and she has a, a allergic reaction. They're gonna have all your health information on there. All right, so all these things are all going to be interconnected. All right, right along with this. All right, you can see how, like the scripture says in Revelation 13, how he causeth all both small, all right, small and great. All right, rich or poor. All right, to receive the M A R K. All right, this is this is. Esau, Edom, 
pre uh, uh he's preparing all right the people for this all right and it's all through the way of gradualism all right so let me rewind it back a little bit more go back uh, digital currency without trusted digital verification so that therefore everyone will have to get a digital ID it will be really interesting to see how people play this when they've said all along that many people in our country don't have the ability as too much of a burden to get an ID <laughs> Right. And now everyone just to have an account is going to have to get it's a digital ID, but you're going to have to confirm your digital ID through government documents. You're going to have to establish yourself so that the, the, a clear digital identity can be registered to you. Now, this digital identity is going to be accessible across all spectrums, all of your health care, all of your credit information. So all three credit bureaus, um, all of your banking information directly with the Federal Reserve. So this is a bypassing of the commercial banking system that we currently have. What happens to all the banks? What happens to financial services? Who's going to give us loans if the money's not sitting in the commercial bank? You know, is the Federal Reserve going into the loan business? Are they going to be loaning out in bulk uh, lump sums from them to a commercial bank who then makes the lending decisions? This whole thing, Brandon, changes everything we know about finance from the very foundational levels. So this is huge. So the bottom line is they believe that the world has no options and that the CBDC and test case beta testing right now as we speak with MasterCard, with several banks that are literally right now running a test case on this, they believe that they will be able to start to the digital IDs. People. Right. All right. And I think I just did a, uh, this was a video I did, I believe it was sometime last week and I was going into Oh, man, what was that article? I believe it was the one uh, article when I brought out going into the SWIFT uh, networking system, all right, and how they're all getting ready to uh, go into uh, the CBDC rollout, all right? And within that article, it was saying that how these other different companies, all right, were already beta, beta testing, all right, the, uh, I guess, different algorithms for it all to be on that same, uh, I guess, blockchain on that same network, okay? And not only those different credit card companies and, and things like that, you have all these other different countries as well, okay, doing their different uh, beta testings as well to see if they can all be interconnected, uh, all right, on the SWIFT uh, system, all right? That's, a, you know, a system that is able to uh, 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 send communications between the different banks to transfer, all right, and to send money, all right, through these different uh, banking uh, systems all on one network, all right, so all this is all gearing up to what? The CBDCs, this is why we've been seeing the bank failures and things, because the banks are no, these, I guess, other banks are no longer needed, all right, because they're getting ready to push and usher in, all right, this CBDC. All right. And now you what? They just had uh, what the Fed now, the uh, uh, instant payments. All right. So all this is all coming out, I believe, is what? Around the summertime. Hey, man, we pushing to that point. All right. It's what? It's March getting ready to be in April. All right. We just had spring break. All right. So we, we are getting ready to enter into the summer part. So we're getting ready to see the things that's getting ready to happen later on this year. All right. Hey, hey, Lord willing, you know, this this thing crashed down this year. People are waking up to the fact that we aren't that equitable Brit banks that are literally right now running a, a test case on this. They believe that they will be able to start to the digital IDs. People are waking up to the fact that we aren't that economically secure. And the only thing that secures America is our military, our ability to basically protect other countries so they continue to subscribe to the dollar and our ability to print money incessantly without yet causing a global collapse. But that's really where we are. That's what these wheels are turning, Brandon. No one knows how long it's going to take, but we are moving to an eventual dollar collapse. That is what was unstoppable at this point. All right, and that's the Lord. We just read early in Isaiah 55 and 11. All right, the Lord is speaking through the mouth of the prophets. All right, these things were not going to come out void. All right. These things were going to accomplish and they were going to prosper the things of what the prophets were saying. All right. As we've been talking about this years ago, 
All right. Even our from our apostles and elders, they were speaking. There's going to be a collapse in this in this society. All right. And we're seeing this in real time right now. All right. Here it is. You got different experts and, and, and people that, uh, you know, they look at the economy and things like that. They see that the dollar is done. All right. That the only thing that the U.S. truly has is what their military. OK, that's about it, because the dollar is done. All right. Soon we're getting ready to start seeing uh, businesses close down, people losing jobs. All right. People are not going to be able to afford the rent. They're not going to be able to afford their um, uh, 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 food and groceries. All right. They're going to be able to afford to uh, keep riding their car on gas. All right. The insurance, all the different bills that they have in place. All right. So it's going to be a, a great torment. <coughs> all right. Unto these people. All right, because they're used to living a life, all right, that is, um, how can I say it, that is, uh, I guess, they're used to living a life that they've always lived, they're not used to seeing any poverty, all right, but, and when this collapse comes, a lot of people are going to see much poverty, all right, it's going to, uh, because this is the way Esau even probably is going to usher this in. All right, he's gonna crash this whole system, man. All right, and it's gonna be that people are gonna be looking and crying out for something, and here it is the answer. All right, the CBDC is going into uh, eventually is gonna go into uh, the Karagma, man. All right, this is ushering in the way to the Karagma, man. All right, to where they're gonna insert this device within you. All right. And you're going to be at one with the system. OK. Thought we would start to see really bad things in the end of 2022. For some reason, uh, those things have been slightly delayed. Um, but I'm definitely on board with massive changes in 2023. And there it is. It says 2023 and potential bank failure. And here it is. I don't know who made this um uh this actual you know video, but I guess Pro Less D E I uh, Pro Pro Less Day. Uh, this was back in January the seventh. This video was made. Okay, it says, and that no man might uh, slop. This is Revelation thirteen and seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the M A R K. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. This is all gearing up to this. All right. And you still got other Israelites out here still not understanding and, and looking at what's truly going on in the world right now. You even got Christians talking about it, man. Come on, man. So let me bring this out, too. I was looking this up and this was a year ago. All right. Cause this has already been in the works. This CBDC talk and all these things that's happening, it's not just, okay, out of nowhere. No, this has been going on for some time. All right. And this is just an article that was written last year. I just wanted to bring out in case, you know, anyone wanted to do even, do even more research going to the executive order that Biden, uh, we're going to that Biden had, uh, ordered. All right. At signed. It says, uh, March 24th, 2022, all right. And this is from CSGlaw.com. It says President Biden signs executive order signaling the development of a United States central bank digital currency. All right. A.K.A. CBDC and shaping up regulations of digital assets. All right. Let me see what the point that I wanted to bring. I think it was the point. It was something else that I read. I just forgot this part where I was at. Oh, man. Kind of going into the uh, CBDCs. All right, let me read this one. It says, policy and action related to United States CBDC. It says that the executive order places significant urgency on contemplating the potential designs and deployment options of a U.S. CBDC 
the executive order calls for government entities, including the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Commerce, to collaborate and submit a report on the future of money and payment systems, including analysis dedicated to the following. The potential implications of a U.S. CBDC based on the possible design choices uh, for national interests, including implications for economic growth and stability, the potential implications a U.S. CBDC might have on financial inclusion. All right. Uh, it says potential relationship between CBDC and private sector administered digital assets to a uh, slot. It says the future of sovereign and privately produced money globally and implications for our financial system and democracy. You know, you keep going down, you know, it, it goes into the executive order even more. It says the extent to which foreign CBDCs could displace existing currencies and alter the payment system in ways that could undermine U.S. financial centrality. The potential implications for national security and financial crime, including analysis of illicit financing, financing risks, sanctions risks other law enforcement and national security interests and implications of human rights. It says an, an assessment of the effects that the growth of foreign CBDCs may have on U.S. interests generally. All right, so they're doing a lot of beta testing, all right, a lot of different uh, uh, executive orders being passed and, and policies, all right, to ensure, all right, all right, the actions, all right, are related to this CBDCs. All right, and here's an article I'll probably leak in, into the into the uh, description box. All right, I'm sure brothers already went into it, but I just happened to scroll, and I remember reading something similar to this, but I didn't know it was a whole year ago. I thought it was maybe two years ago, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this this article was written a year ago. All right, the same date, March 24, 2022. Today is March 24. 2023 all right so you can see how much things have sped up within just one year they were just signed the executive order okay about these different things pertaining to the cbdc a year later <clears throat> a year later now they're rolling this thing out all right and linking it up with, with, with the fed now all right so this is hey you can see that the times are speeding up all right so let me get um so loud. here it is Get one more scripture. I was gonna bring it out earlier. This is Second Ezra's nine. Where was I? Because I was saying earlier that many people are going to fall right along with this place. Second Ezra's nine and verse nine. All right, it says, "Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways." All right. You know, mainly speaking to you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. All right. A lot of y'all have uh, uh, forsaken Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. OK, you didn't listen to his men. All right. You didn't listen unto uh, the commandments. All right. You didn't listen, adhere and hearken unto the Lord. All right. So you're going to be in a pitiful case. All right. Because you're going to be stuck with a choice to make. It says, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. You're going to be in great torment, all right, especially going on to the decision that you're going to have to make because you're going to be hearing all these different things and you're not going to understand what's going on when everything hits the fan. You're going to be looking for answers and you ain't going to be able to find none. Your mind, you're going to be tormented in your mind, all right, and at the same time, you're going to be tormented physically as well, all right, because you're not going to know uh, what to do, all right, or, or where to go, you're just going to line up, all right, when this uh, karagma is presented, you're just going to line right along with it, all right, you're going to go right along with the world at that point, it says, for such, verse 10, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they had yet liberty, all right, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, because right now the, the, the place of repentance is open unto you. All right. The Lord has his, his, his hand stretched out even more. But it's coming to a time to where the Lord is going to turn his back 
all right, upon you, all right, because you didn't seek him while he could be found. It says, uh, damn, what was that? It says, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. You got many people, they despise it. They, they despise the things that, that go on within the earth. I mean, it's a lot. They, they despise the things what the, the things that are going in the earth, going, dealing with the prophecies, but they're actually uh, 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 despising the men of the Lord. They're despising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Bashai. All right. It says the same must know it after death by pain. All right. And that's when these uh, 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 nuclear missiles are right, going to be touched down here in Babylon the Great because many of them are going to have taken. All right. All right, the uh, the the karagma. All right, they're gonna have taken. All right, the 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 way of the beast, man. They're gonna take the way of this man's system. They're gonna follow it. All right, all the way down to their end, and their end is going to be nothing but pain. All right, and they're gonna know it by death, by pain. All right, it's gonna be a gruesome uh, way to go out. All right, because they didn't adhere unto the hearkening of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You got the liberty. All right, you got the place of repentance right now, okay? But many people have loathed, all right? They have loathed the law of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? And many people about to start seeing real soon, all right, the importance, all right, of why Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai had his prophets on the highways and hedges. It even says in the book of Isaiah 30, I believe it's verse 21. I could be wrong. But I know it's in the book of Isaiah. I believe it's chapter 30, but it goes into how the Lord was not. Uh, let me just get it right quick. All right, because the scripture says that thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So it ain't no excuse, man. This is the book of Isaiah 30. Go 20. Damn. Oh, verse 20. Isaiah 30 and verse 20. It says, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. You see the men of the Lord on the streets, all right, on the highways and hedges, all right? You see us on, you know, on the, on via YouTube, all right? You even got other different videos out there even warning you, all right, of the coming different dangers that's coming on the earth. All right, with all right, this you know, with this rollout of the CBDC, all right, and eventually it's gonna go into the uh, uh, you know, Revelation 13. All right, we're seeing this through the way of gradualism. All right, so hey, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. All right, so hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwathim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully let. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. Around your fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.